number one. Graph the function f of x equals a piecewise function here, x plus 3. If x is less than or equal to 2, x squared minus 4. If x is between negative 2 and 3 and 5, if x is greater than or equal to 3. And then not only does, or do we only have to do that, we also need to find, it says state the domain. I don't have it here, but we're going to do the domain and range as well. So I'm going to put that over there so I don't forget. First, x plus 3. This is a line with a slope of 1. You just go up three units from the y-axis. That's where it would hit right there. But the thing is, it's only going to extend to negative 2. It will be a closed dot. So it should be going, there's a slope of 1, up 1, over 1, which means it will be going this way. So what I'm going to do here is, since I'm writing in red, I'll just get it out of the red line here. And it would be going like this, straight down 1, over 1 this way. Now the thing is, because the graph, this says here that x is less than or equal to 2, we need to have this at the x value of negative 2, which is right there. So that's how my graph will look for that part. And then here, this is a parabola. It'll be, it says x squared minus 4. So a parabola, we would go down 4 units. 1, 2, 3, 4. And the way a parabola works is... If you go over 1, you then square the number. See how it says squared? So if I go over 1, what's 1 squared? Just 1, so I'd go up 1. And you would do this both directions. Negative 1 squared is 1. If I went right 2 units, I'd square that, and I'd get 4. So it would be 1, 2, 3, 4. And the same thing here. 1, 2, 3, 4. Whoa, let's try it again. 1, 2, 3, 4. Yep, this point right there. And now, as I, if I look at it, this is between negative 2 and 3, so I've gone to negative 2, so I need to go to negative 3. So if I go 3 over 1, 2, 3, I need to square that, so it would be 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I'll be at the very top of this graph. 9 right here. Because these symbols have less ink here, they're going to be open circles. I didn't really talk about in this one. That's closed because it has more ink. More ink with the symbol means more ink with the dot. So this is actually going to be an open circle there, and that will be an open circle there. And so you would graph your parabola here. And this parabola would come around this way, and would continue on up to there. Finally, the last piece, it just says the y value of 5, which is where we already are. For any value, x is greater than or equal to 3. So I'll do this one here in green, and this would start at 5, and it would continue on this way forevermore. So that's how the graph would look. And I'll show you how to type that in the calculator for a second. But before I do that, I'm going to talk about domain. So the way I think about domain with piecewise function, if you're looking at the graph, is I think about it with like a little man here walking down along the x-axis. Domain means x, so the question is if it's like pouring down rain. Would he be covered? And as he walks this way, you'll notice that this guy is covered as he's walking. So even from over here, this arrow extends on, it would cover him. So he would not be getting wet. He'd dry, be dry, be dry. Now, the first place that we can talk about is there. Would the water get through? No, it'd hit this, and it would roll down. So would he's still dry here. So we continue on. We don't have any breaks in the domain yet. And now I come to this point. And on the blue, it looks like the wet rain would get through, but the green actually blocks it. So no matter how far he goes on, he is never getting wet. The rain would never get through. So I'm going to say that is all real. So you can say from negative infinity to positive infinity, or you can say x is an element of the reals, the real numbers. So now, how do I do range? Well, I take my little guy here, and I need to turn him sideways. When smart words kind of messing up, I won't let him turn him sideways there. Now I can rotate them. And now I do the same thing for domain, and I just turn them and I walk them up. And I want to know, will I be dry right now? And the answer is, right now it looks like to a lot of people it would be getting wet, but this line actually continues on. So I'm actually dry this whole way. Still dry, still dry. Even between here, I'm going to be dry because of the red. I'm still dry, still dry, still dry, up until this point. Here, now some people are going to be confused. They're going to say, Certainly he's getting wet because the blue is open. Nope, so the green is closed. I'm still dry. It's once I get past that I start getting soaking wet. So I can go my range 
from negative infinity, that means forever down, all the way up to this value, which is 5. Because it was getting blocked in here, I put a bracket. That's my range. Now let's check this uh, in our calculators, because I told you I would do that. So if I open up my calculator, what I'm going to do is go to New Document here. And then I'm going to tell it not to save. I'm going to open up the graph. The way to do piecewise is the button next to 9. Notice it has the absolute value symbol, and then next to it is the piecewise. You go there, I have three equations, so I'm going to choose this one. And it'll ask me how many you have. You say three. The equation was x plus two. Was it, was it x plus two? X plus three. As long as x is less than or equal to negative two. The next equation was x squared minus four. And this was as long as negative x was in between negative two and three. I'll check this in a second, but I believe these were my values. And then I had 5 if x is greater than or equal to 3. 5 if x is greater than, excuse me, it's the wrong button. Here we go. Control equals, because who knows? Greater than or equal to 3. 3. There you go. Here's my graph. This looks pretty good. What I can check though is my table, and I want to make sure uh, for all reals, then my x's should go forever down. So if I go this way, they should extend down forever. You see nothing's preventing those x's. They all exist. They have a real y, y value. As I go this way, the y's also exist. But now if I talk to my range, I say how low can this graph go? As you can see, the and it keeps going lower and lower and lower. It's not stopping. But if I try to go see how high will it get, it's stopping at 5. It never gets higher than 5. So that means my range would be between negative 5 and, uh, excuse me, negative infinity and 5. 